Hi everyone, this is a small uh, experiment that uh, I have actually am replicating of a user called Magluvin and that's M-A-G-L-U-V-I-N and uh, he's on the OverUnity forum and he also has a YouTube account at that same name. He uh, has come up with this idea, this concept as a way of uh, utilizing the magnetic flux and uh, I thought it was very interested and merited uh, a replication and this is my replication attempt I have two uh, toroids, uh, ferret toroids here on the outside and in the inside as you can see there's another toroid and that's also a ferrite and uh, before winding this red coil here on it I have another coil which is this green wire here and that's wound actually all around the cylinder in this direction okay and that's actually the secondary and then I wound with this red wire a toroid in the standard way so basically we have the primary which is this red wire and with our secondary 90 degrees out of phase with the primary which is a great idea because uh, whenever you're pulsing the primary because of the 90 degrees out of phase it is not picking up the uh, uh, the uh, electric the magnetic field of the primary uh, as it's being pulsed at the beginning and the idea here and the hopes of it is it's uh, we also apply some uh, magnets. Let me see where my magnets are. Okay, here we have a three-quarter inch ceramic magnet that I also will be adding to e each end of the coil here. So I've got the coil sticking out a little bit. That's how it would go. It fits perfectly uh, inside those two uh, toroids. So I'll be applying magnets and attraction on each end and the idea here is this primary will kick the uh, magnetic flux uh, away and then when it shuts off that magnetic flux will come back in and we pick up that magnet flux coming back in on the secondary here and uh, I really like this idea and uh, it's already showing some uh, interesting results and I'll demonstrate that for you Okay, my primary coil here is, uh, I wound up uh, two wires at the same time. So if you want to call that bifaller, then it is bifaller. And just so that I can elongate the coil uh, easily. So, um, and as well, I don't know if you noticed, but I could only put one layer on this uh, core in the center here. And... Uh, that's because everything is too tight and so again this secondary here is only one layer so it might you know come to about like I don't know two or three feet uh, two feet maybe of this uh, green fine wire here uh, wound on the center of that and then this red coil here wound you know 90 degrees and that might have been like um, Oh, I don't know, maybe about uh, 10 feet of this wire here uh, that I was able to get on it. So it's a very, very small coil and I have to be very careful that the amount of energy I put into it uh, because there's not hardly any resistance. So I'm using my 555 uh, circuit here and I'm adjusting, uh, it's a PWM configuration, so I'm adjusting pulse width, which is set about at 1% at this time and I can show you the scope shot this is what the uh, these are the pulses here at, which are about at 64 Hertz uh, coming out and as you see they're very very narrow so they're at about 1% and right here on this uh, bar here that's basically the uh, the secondary coil and Right now I don't have the magnets added and what I'll do right now is I'll expand that so we can have a look at it. So there's there's a good uh, expansion there, maybe, whoop, that's a bit too much there. 
So this is our on time here, our on period right there, and our off. So that's a 1% here you're looking at. And if we look at the data there, well, we're not going to see very much. There's, there's nothing. It can't pick up frequency or anything like that because it's too, uh, uh, there's not enough space in between the uh, pulses. So my source voltage is 12.85 volts and I'm uh, pulsing at that 1% only a half of a milliamp. So 5,000 microamps. And I know it's quite accurate because I have my meter there adjusted as well. And it's as well the same uh, voltage on there. So that's the voltage I'm measuring across against this precision resistor there that I made. So again, half a milliamp going through there. And um, the coil now is being pulsed, like I said. And there's nothing really coming out of the secondary uh, worthwhile speaking. And um, the primary here, I've got a diode there and I'm collecting the flyback in this capacitor here. So at this time we have 7.21 volts on that 6000 microfarad capacitor with a 10k ohm resistor there across it. All right. So that's just a let the voltage climb to a certain extent but just we can calculate the uh, energy right there as well because of the resistor. And uh so what I'll do now is I'll add the uh, magnets and uh, I'll add one here on one side and the next one on the other side. Now as soon as I do that everything changes in the circuit here. If we now go back to looking at our, uh, our uh, this is the secondary here coming out Okay, now it's changed. So now we actually have a pulse here happening and that pulse is uh, going against the diode. So it's keeping it down and that diode is uh, right here on this side, another 6,000 microfarad capacitor. And as you see, now the capacitor is starting to fill up. Now the other thing that happens is uh, our current has gone down when I've added that. So what I'll do now is I'll readjust it and I'll pause the camera to have it exactly at the same spot. Okay, I've now uh, recalibrated and if we look, uh, we see it, we've got about, uh, again, our, our 5, uh, 0.5 uh, milliamps uh, there. And, um, and our voltage on the flyback capacitor and load is at pretty well the same voltage. It's at 7.21 right now. And the uh, uh, secondary coil here is now at uh, 1 volt. And uh, we've got 1 volt against that same uh, resistor. It's a 10K resistor, again a 6000 microfarad capacitor. And that's what our uh, pulse uh, looks like you know or a kickback and I believe that is the uh, the uh, flux of these uh, magnets these are very small three-quarter inch uh, ceramic magnets they ha hardly have any magnetic uh, strength or flux uh, but I mean it's a small micro test here and it's showing some good results and I'd like to uh, share that and uh, thank uh, uh, Mag uh, Leuven, or if it's Lovin, Mag Lovin, uh, but it's spelled L U V I N, M A G L U V I N. So, uh, anyways, thanks, uh, Mag uh, Leuven, or Lovin, for uh, uh, coming up with this uh, great little uh, concept. And, um, like I said, this is a very uh, crude uh, experiment. Uh, it hardly has any uh, wire length on it because of the size of the cores that I had, but uh, it's uh, showing an interesting uh, result and uh, I'll post this video and uh, we can uh, continue uh, hopefully experimenting with this. Thanks for watching. Bye now.